my setup is sort of simple, sort of complicated. It's drums. The bass drum triggers a bass tone that I can affect, and then I do vocals. So there's drums and then kind of like a bass synth tone and vocals. And so I just have this stuff set up in my studio and I practice and when I arrive at something that's, you know, feels kind of memorable, um, I record everything. So when I go, yeah, if I'm going to go into a studio and record a record or if I'm going on tour, I, I try to take, you know, I, I have songs to some extent, but the parameters are kind of amorphous, like, because of the nature of the instrumentation, like finding the same tone isn't, I don't always get the same tone on the oscillator and I don't always sing, like I capture loops live, so I don't always sing the melodies the same way. So, but there is kind of a, there's an underlying structure for kind of different pieces in the set. But because I'm playing by myself, I can just veer off the road or something at any point if I feel like something's not working or I hear some strange sound that I want to follow that sound. I was actually talking with someone the other day about it. It's like if you're, it's like when you're driving across country, you're driving on a trip by yourself and like there's a place you want to go, but because you're by yourself, if you see some weird thing on the side of the road, you can like stop and kind of hang out in some weird place and then get back on your trip. So that's the power of playing by yourself. You can just kind of wander off for a while. Oh, 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 oh,